Brianna. It's 649 new this morning on the hunt for an indoor activity this winter. The Milwaukee Public Library has one for you and it is a treasure, but it's underutilized. This morning our Peter Zervakis joins us to share this hidden collection and how you can see it free. Pete, good morning. Well, Susan, from presidential signatures to one of a kind manuscripts, these are just some of the about 6,000 items you'll find inside the Milwaukee Public Library's rare books room. You're looking at the Milwaukee Public Library's oldest item, a page of a Bible produced in 1240. It would have taken the scribe over a week to print this out. It's part of the collection housed behind this protective glass inside the rare books room at the Central Library at 8th and Wisconsin. We should be able to keep a book in here indefinitely, especially if it's not exposed to air. Temperature and humidity controls preserve pieces like this military document signed by Abraham Lincoln in 1864. Yes. And this handmade manuscript about Milwaukee businessman John Plankenton. This was commissioned by his daughter in his honor. There are scenes of old Milwaukee inside. That's Wisconsin Avenue. Marquette University is down the road. The lake is um, behind us as we're standing here. You can also see this original 20 volume collection of works by Charles Dickens. And check out this large book of autographs. Theodore Roosevelt signed this as Secretary of the Navy. The director of the Milwaukee Public Library says in the age of smartphones and tablets, there's still something special about thumbing through these pages. As artifacts of our society, um, of our history, um, of our world, I think they are incredibly valuable. In some ways, it's a hidden treasure. A hidden treasure that's actually really easy to visit. You can search the room's contents online, then make an appointment with the library to go in and view an item. Fundraising pays for maintenance of the room, plus the occasional new purchase. Just fascinating stuff, Pete. Thanks so much.